What's going on guys, Zainov here, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the repair tool and EOD bot in Battlefield 4. Before we begin, I just wanted to let you know there isn't much footage of these gadgets in the background because I don't think anyone wants to watch me drive an EOD bot or just repair a tank the whole video. However, there will be bits and pieces of me using these throughout the video. So first up, we've got the repair tool. This is by far used more than the EOD bot. The repair tool can repair friendly or destroyed enemy vehicles. Now one advantage it has over the EOD bot is that it is far easier to control without a doubt. I don't care how good you are with a keyboard and mouse, the EOD bot is way harder to control. The next advantage the repair tool has over the EOD bot is that you can take it out and use it straight away. The repair tool is also easier to kill enemies with because it is really easy to control like I said previously in the video. Moving on to the EOD bot, one huge advantage it has in general is the ability to plant or defuse MCOMs. This could really come in handy as a distraction method to get out of a spawn trap or can sometimes lead your team to victory. To actually plant or defuse an MCOM with the EOD bot, simply go up next to it and start repairing the MCOM. I don't believe there's a difference in time diffusing or planning if you're using the EOD bot compared to the normal way. Next, the EOD bot is mobile, meaning you can use it on the go and far away from any enemies. Now the only game type I suggest using the EOD bot in is Rush. The reason being is that you can plant MCOMs with it. And you can also stay near the MCOM and fry anyone who tries to defuse it. Another example that EOD bot is really useful in Rush would be if there was an enemy tank sitting near an MCOM completely decimating your entire team. All you have to do is maneuver the EOD bot over near the tank and start disabling them. You won't be in any immediate danger yourself because you're quite a distance away from the tank and any enemies. If you were to try and repair tool the tank, you would most likely get gunned down every single time by enemies or just blasted by the tank in general. So the EOD bot really serves the purpose for destroying vehicles quietly and just sneaking around the map in general. So the next big question comes to mind, what are you actually going to use? Tell me your answer in the comments section, however for me I would stick to the repair tool in Conquest and save the EOD bot for Rush. Now that is just about the end of today's gadget comparison, I want to thank you for watching and if you haven't already be sure to click that like button if you want to see more of these. Also if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for daily Battlefield 4 tips, tricks, and news. But until next time guys, this is Zainov and I'll see you in my next video.